Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, I'm making a small geode wall art on canvas. The very first step I did was to prep the back side of my canvas, and I did this by pouring layers of resin onto the back, and if you'd like a full detailed video about this process, I'll leave one linked above. After that resin has hardened, I used some painter's tape to protect the back edges. Then I flipped it over and propped it up onto a cup, and made sure that it was leveled. Now that my canvas is ready to go, I mix in my resin and I'm using craft resin, which is a one-to-one -one ratio by volume, and I really enjoy working with it. I'll leave a discount code in my description if you'd like to try them out. Once my resin is mixed well for several minutes, I separate it into smaller cups to add in my pigments. The first pigment I'm using is Just Resin's Pigment Paste in the shade Titanium White, and I mix it first in the container before I add some into my cup of resin. Next, I'm using Just Resin's Silver Lilac. followed by Craft Resin's Mica Powder in the shade Lavender. I start off by taking my white pigmented resin and outlining where I want to place my glass. Then I fill in that area with my white pigment to place the glass on top. I use my silicone makeup brush to help spread out the resin. and I quickly go over it with my torch gun to pop any air bubbles. Now I'm placing on some iridescent flakes on top. Next, I start to place on my glass, and I'm using this glass from Mica. It's similar to fire glass, and I'll have product links in my description if you want to purchase these products that you see in this video and give this tutorial a try. I placed in a few large pieces and then filled in the rest of the space with smaller pieces. And I'm just going over that area once more with my white pigmented resin. Now I decided to add in a little bit of gold and I'm using Resin Pro's metallic powder in the shade Oro Rico. I mix that into a cup and then apply some near my glass. Now comes the fun part and I take turns of pouring my solid colors but also do a fair share of pouring a dirty pour. With a dirty pour, I'm adding all of my different pigmented resins into one cup and stirring it very lightly and then pouring it onto my canvas. And this creates a really nice marble effect. I'm using my silicone makeup brush to make sure that my edges are covered in resin. And I take my gold once more and outline that area where my glass is. I allow that to harden and come back the next day. Now I'm going to be using acrylic markers and also adding gloss paint marker to add in some details. 
I do my best to add lines just where it feels natural, but this is something that I'd like to improve on and learn to better place these lines. Now I'm going to be adding a pop of gold around my glass. This gold that I previously added is nice, but it's not really doing what I want it to do. So for this, I'm going to again be using Resin Pro's metallic powder in the shade Oro Rico. And this time I'm going to mix it with Let's Resin's alcohol ink in a yellow shade. I mix those two together and with a paintbrush, I gently apply it around my glass. I also added it to the outer edges and a few spots in the middle. And to seal that all in, I'm mixing in my craft resin once more and adding a top coat. I make sure that every area is covered with resin and also allow the resin to drip over the edge and brush the sides. Again, I allow that to harden and then come back to remove my painter's tape. Using a heat gun makes removal super easy and if all of your drops don't come off with your tape, you can use an X-Acto knife and scrape them off easily. The heat gun warms up the resin drops which makes them softer and very easy to remove. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.